All of a sudden, I just dirty. he appeared uh, doing uh, the weather. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? You ready? Hey, last time, yeah. during our other segment, you gave me a green tomato. <clears throat> Was that on purpose? As a matter of fact, you know what? You did. I thought you said, who said pink? I said pink. Okay. I, I, why I did you yeah. say that? Because it, it wasn't ripe to me. So I thought, okay, it's a light. Because I usually think of a tomato that's not ripe as pink, not mm -hmm. green. See? Wow. No, I oh. don't. That's we crazy. Don't? For <laughs> so we don't think, well, because you're a chef. You know better. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if I, I think you have a problem with yeah. tomatoes. That's so why you gave me listen, tomato. guys, yes. Botanical Garden of the Ozark, mm -hmm. they have this annual event. It's called Chefs in the Garden. It's happening yeah. September 9th. It's one of the most incredible, when you think about it, all these chefs that come from Salem Springs, Eureka Springs, Fayetteville Springs, yeah. Springdale Springs, All the Springdale springs. springs. Top chefs, right? I mean, Top chefs. Yeah. Top Here's chefs, the thing. restaurants. You, you guys want to talk about a food movement that's happening anywhere in the country right now? Northwest Arkansas specifically, it's off the hook, ah. off the chain. Wow. But you take all of these great chefs on September 11th, you put them in a sublime, beautiful setting, yes. mm -hmm. like Botanical Garden of the Ozark. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's one of the best events you're going to go to in the state of Arkansas this year. If you don't have tickets, you got to get them. Okay. And I'm going to encourage you, if you're both not a member, become a member. And you know what happens? Discounts. You get a right? discount. Yeah. I've seen, it, I've seen it mentioned on site. Why wouldn't so. you do mm -hmm. that? Why well, wouldn't I, I? I understand that you proposed to your wife at Botanical Garden the Ozark. Is that correct? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> and I made that up. <laughs> yeah, totally. I made that up. But it it's was really in Chicago, yeah. but anyway. September 9th, or excuse me, September 11th. It's incredible, you guys. If, yeah. you're, if you don't have plans, please get tickets. It's going to okay, be Okay, yeah. So some of the best uh, restaurant chefs will be yeah. at this event, Chefs in the Garden of the Botanical Garden of yep. the Ozarks. Um, Tell us, I guess this is kind of a good way to segue into what some of these people are going to expect to see, some great dishes. These are some easy options that people at home can make. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about what you have for us this morning. Well, first of all, everything that you see in front of you, I actually use Philippe Boberio, who is actually a great sponsor, great friend to the garden, and, mm -hmm. and is actually sponsoring this event. So they're olive oil, syrupy, sweet, delicious, and really fantastic. So. Absolutely. I'm thinking about sort of paradigms from my childhood, yep. and so uh, one of the things I loved as a kid were just cucumbers and vinegar with a little bit of red onion. My dad always had these made oh my in gosh. the fridge. Just really? and it's like it's yeah. healthy and it's easy, and you just get it. Like I can remember being like a kid uh, with my knee socks, sweaty, mm -hmm. coming into the house, just opening the fridge and just taking them, and it's just a great yeah. healthy snack. So this is sort of an ele elevated version of that. You can actually serve this as a side at dinner or it's actually just great as snacks. And then the other thing that I love, unadulterated, very, very simple, just uh, Ozark heirloom tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of different varieties here, a little olive oil, and I actually use some salt and pepper, but you'll also notice I have this little thing I call Eden Shake, which is a couple different kinds of sesame seeds and nori mm -hmm. that have actually been chopped up to give it kind of an Asian feel, but it's really delicious. So, yeah. very simple. These are beautiful things that you can put on the table. Yeah, and your kids are gonna love them too. I want to try one of these heirlooms here. Well, I want to do. Let's do a blind taste test. Okay, I'll put this down. So do we have time? <laughs> do, sure, let's go for are it. Are you gonna do it? Okay, so let's I, do it. Here's so what we we're gonna do. We have to close our eyes. Uh, shut right? your eyes, and then okay. we're gonna see. And we're gonna start. I'm trusting you, Case. We're gonna start with no cucumbers. Cats I don't want cucumbers. And then we're gonna go to to Caitlin. There you go. Look at that. He just opened right up. And then hmm. we're gonna we're gonna see what Caitlin delicious. Caitlin's right. Here we go. What what do you think it is, Caitlin? What kind of tomato? What color? Oh, this is like a cucumber. <laughs> oh, it's a cucumber <laughs> tomato. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna say mine was one of the dark red ones. That's what I'm gonna guess. It's green? Actually, yours was a cucumber, a green cucumber, and yours was actually a, a yellow tomato. Yellow. Now I'm picking wrong. <laughs> you are you've got a you real don't know I wanna try right? one of these. Take one of those. Mm. Mm. Not great. Well, Case, thanks so much for Yeah, those are very different. Yeah. Coming on our show, of course, we'll have all of this information about Chefs in the Garden on our website, fox24news.tv. Mm -hmm. Pig Trail Nation report is next.